Hey, Justice, it's Friday, and um, I don't know where to begin. I'm going to pull up Minecraft and just kind of mess around. We're going to go to Narugia, because that's what I'm currently playing on. Um, I did get your gifts. I opened them on camera to you. Um, I didn't open them on camera here, obviously, but that's fine. I should probably actually get someplace safe, but thank you! And I'm not going to bother pulling the poster, because I'm probably going to end up like destroying it by accident. So, yeah, I'm going to not do that. Okay. Um... I'm going to quickly do this. Nothing shall get to me. Okay, we're good. Now that I'm in here, and I think the sun's coming up on this game now, so I don't even have to worry about going in here. Um, <laughs> oops. Uh, derp, 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 I have no idea. Uh, let's see. I watched your video. I had to rewatch it because I didn't forget my word of the week. I just kind of felt like I needed to get the laugh at the very end where you're just like, my word of the week was present. What is in it? That was probably my favorite part, and I couldn't stop laughing at it. So I felt like giving myself a good laugh before I started this video this morning. It is only 10.50, and I shouldn't be as tired as I am, because I've been getting full night's sleep, but for some reason, I just, I don't know why, but I haven't been getting good sleep. Like... I haven't been sleeping well enough, because every time I wake up in the morning, I'm really tired. I don't know if it's just the pillows or what, but I just... My neck's always hurting, and I toss and turn throughout the night. But, okay, so embarrassing story. I have plenty of those, so, um... Let's see here... I don't know if I told you that one. I will tell you this one, and then I'll tell you a couple other ones, but this one will be the, f the first one, because it's the most funny. So, I sat down... And I've already told you the story now that I think about it, but I don't care because it's just as funny the first time as it was the, the this time. Probably. Maybe. Hopefully. Um, so, anyway. It is now daytime, so maybe I'll So, hopefully. Anyway. Um, I used to work at Meyer, as you know, and obviously because I moved, I could not continue stay working at the same store because I'm not going to go to work for a, like, with a 12-hour drive. Uh, yeah, no, that's just a bad idea. I'm not going to try and work someplace where I pretty much have to live at work <laughs> and never see Josh again. That'd be bad. Um, so anyway, what ended up happening was uh, one of the days I was um, hanging out without Eric because Eric wasn't working. And um, Eric is one of my good friends from work, as is Victoria. They're both close to my age, and we all kind of just became a really close, uh, close-knit group of people during the time we uh, worked at my So... What happened was, I was sitting there, and eating my lunch, just kind of minding my own business, and one of the deli girls comes up to me, and she goes, um, she happens to ask if it's okay to sit down next to me, and I'm like, yeah, sure, that's fine, I don't mind. And she plops down, and she looks at me, and after a little bit, she asks, um, so, do you like the guy that you're always around? Are you guys dating? And I just kind of was like, no. And she turned around, and she's like, well... Do you like him in any way? And I started laughing because as soon as she asked, I was just like, there's no way this is happening to me. No. And I, I, I kind of laughed. And I'm like, no, honey, I'm engaged to somebody else. Please don't even start. And she like got the most embarrassed look on her face. And of course, I'm blushing like mad because I just wasn't expecting to be asked if I like Eric or not. Because Eric is also on top of being um a good friend of mine. He's also... um recently has discovered or come to terms with being um, gay. So, of course, I was busy laughing because it's like, this lady has no idea. And I just, I'm not going to tell her because I can't. That's that's all confidential. It's it's something that he's just now coming to terms with. And if I mention it, it I don't want Fatala or anybody else to start making fun of him be or, you know, avoiding him because we have, um, we had a couple different people that were in, uh, were at work that, um, Obviously, Fatala was, uh, is, uh, a, crap, derp, 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 is a Muslim, and how he feels about, uh, people that are of that affiliation, obviously, he's strongly against it, so, um, when it came to, when it came to, uh, d telling people about it, Eric didn't want to, because he felt like it would just cause problems, and to an extent, I can understand completely why. Um, so that was that, and it was embarrassing because the entire, the entire produce department from that point on 
started acting as if we were dating and just kind of went with it. And every time we were together, it was like, oh, look, the lovebirds are together. Are they going to have dinner? Or are they going out? Like, you know, all that, that whole entire spiel. And so Eric and I started calling each other. Like, he would come into the, um, into the prep room in the morning and he'd come up and be like, hey, boo, how are you doing today? I hope that you're having a great day and everything. And it was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> Can we please stop? Um, there was also a point in time where I put, uh, love you boo on his, uh, on his windshield. I wrote him a note and stuck it in his, on his windshield. It was kind of hilarious. So yeah, that is my embarrassing work story for today. Um, I will probably tell you another one at a later time. If you feel like this one wasn't adequate enough. Um, I felt like it was adequate enough because you told an embarrassing work story and I told an embarrassing work story. Um, but that was just kind of what happened. We started being called the uh, the couple of produce, so that was entertaining. Anyway, um, that's all that I have for today, I guess. I really don't really know what to talk about besides that. So I hope that you have a good day, and your word of the week for next week is going to be book. I don't know why. It's probably because I'm staring at the the, the encyclopedia of broken dreams. Anyway, um, so your your word of the week is book, and.